What's up guys and welcome back to another Pokemon Go story time and first of all I have to say Happy Halloween to you guys. Um, I know it is Halloween today, so uh, go out and get some candy. Uh, if you're going out with your kids, have fun with your kids and uh, just have a good, happy, safe Halloween. Considering that it is Halloween time. Now I'm going to tell this story and it is a ghost story. And some of you people right now may be like, yeah, okay. <laughs> you may not believe if you don't believe in ghosts, you're automatically not going to believe my story. So I will say that right now. You know, I mean, some people kind of believe, some people don't believe at all, but yeah. So anyway, here goes the story. I used to live in Vermont for a year back in my, I think it was my early 20s. I lived there for a year with my ex-girlfriend and uh, we lived in a town called Stowe, Vermont. And there's this bridge there. It's called Emily's Bridge. And actually I can show you a picture of what it looks like. That's Emily's Bridge right there. I don't know how old the bridge is or anything like that, but the story goes, um, Emily was supposed to meet her love at the bridge or something like that and then he didn't show up so she ended up uh, hanging herself from the bridge which is terrible but that that's the story that that you know one that she haunts the bridge now and that she hates men now keep in mind I've actually been to this place I don't know three four times before this particular incident happened um, but it, always there were girls there, okay? So my little brother and his best friend David, they both come up to Vermont to visit me. So we they come over and they're like, hey, we should go to the Emily's Bridge. You're telling about this scary bridge, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, okay, uh, yeah, let's, let's, you know, I'm like, yeah, let's go, you know, and it was raining. Um, it was raining really, really bad, and my brother was like, hey, you know, they say there's more paranormal activity when it's raining, and I'm like, yeah, whatever, you know, like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, sure. So, it takes us a little while, but we finally get there, and then that's where I'm going to stop, and uh, that's where I'm going to stop, and I'm going to do one of my evolves. So, I'm going to actually do one of my first evolves now. Um, let's see here, we got a Cubone, that's 91. Uh, I have 827 candies, so, yeah. I've been participating in the event. What the hell is going on? So I'm going to do my Cubone, which is at 91 IV, and we're going to evolve him now. Marowak's best moveset is Mud Slap Earthquake, and that is not it. Darn. <laughs> uh, okay, so now Diglett. Let's do that. Evolve it into a Doug Trio. That best is uh, Mud Slap Stone Edge. No, no, no. That's not the best one. One second. Best one is Mud um, Mud Shot Earthquake. Mud Slap Earthquake. That's still actually pretty good for that. Too bad the IVs don't go much higher than that, but that's still good. And then I'm gonna do one more. And then we're gonna continue the story. Okay, so we got. This I actually want, it's only 82%, but I want it to be Vaporeon. So it's 852, it should be over 2k no matter what. Unless it's a Jolteon, I'm going to have issues. So hopefully it just goes through and that's it. Yes, Vaporeon, heck yeah. Oh no! <laughs> I wanted Water Gun uh, Hydro Pump, but uh, still take, I'll still take it. Ugh, darn it. So close, so close. Okay, so back to the story. We just get there, right? It's raining. It is pouring out so bad. And uh, David, my little brother's best friend, he jumps out of the car and he's just like walking on the bridge, laughing, blah, 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 blah. I'm like late to walk out there. So I'm like walking out there and I'm about to step onto the bridge. And all of a sudden, I feel something behind me. It actually felt so close to me, like it was breathing on my neck that I was actually kind of paralyzed. Like, I couldn't take a step. Um, and yeah, it felt like something was directly behind me. And she she was there. I could tell that she was there. You know, something was, if it wasn't her, which I think it was, it was definitely something behind me. So anyway, at that point in time, I'm freaked out and I'm like, let's go back to the car. Immediately, my little brother's friend David was like, Oh, I thought you were this, you know, 
he's like, what are you scared of? Blah, 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 you know, type of thing. Like, I thought you were, like, this ghost hunter dude or whatever. <laughs> I still remember. He's, like, trying to, like, make fun of me. And I'm like, nah, I'm going back to the car. And he and my little brother took one look at me, and he was just, like, freaked out because of the look on my face. So we quickly go back into the car. And I'm like, man, she's out there. She is definitely out there. Okay, so back to the Evolves. <laughs> uh, we got... I'm going to do the execute, uh, execute that's 87% IV first, so we're going to do that. Now depending on whether this gets the right moveset or not, I may or may not evolve those other two just to conserve on candies. So we'll see. Hopefully this actually has Zen Headbutt Solar Beam and I don't have to worry about doing anything else. Seed Bomb. Darn it. Darn. Then it's still okay. I may power it up to 2k just to stick it into gyms, but overall that's going to be it for that. Ugh, darn it. So we're going to try one more. Well, we can actually try three times. Nope, actually two. Nope, three. We can do three. Okay, so we evolve this one. And I have two twins. They're both, they're either 89 or 91 IV. I couldn't pinpoint it exactly, but uh, they are higher. So hopefully this gives me what I want. And I did it on purpose. I got like three chances to get a good one again. I already have a couple good ones. Uh, executors, so. And Seed Bomb again. Man, what a disappointment. Ugh. Okay, well. Third time. Third. Third time's a charm. Let's let's go for it. Ugh. Come on. Please. Please be good. Hopefully this is good. Okay, Confusion Solar Beam, that's actually okay, as long as I have Solar Beam. So, I'm okay with this one. This is this is actually okay. Finally, this is this is a decent one. The other ones, I'm um, not going to really bring up there. Seed Bomb is not really good, and yeah, both, both of the other ones have Seed Bomb. Darn it. Uh, we'll do one more. We'll do one more. I'll do this Golem now. Let me find out what the best moveset is for Golem. The Golem's best moveset is Mudshot Earthquake. Alright, let's go for it. I had this Graveler for a long time uh, waiting, so I don't actually have like a really good higher IV Golem, so hopefully this ends up being something good. Yeah! Okay, what what is it? What is it? We want Mudshot Earthquake. Mud Slap. Ancient Power it's it's done it's garbage at that point ah darn <laughs> darn it okay so anyway back to the story so we're sitting back in the car and i'm like man she's out there blah 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 and we're just sitting we're just sitting there and it's raining pretty hard so we're just you know just sitting in the car and i started to feel a pain in my lower left like my lower left side i was like man my back is hurting you know um about five minutes go by, and I'm still, like, in pain. I'm like, man, it, feels like a, it felt like a cramp is what it felt like, like a cramp in my back. And my little brother's like, pull up your shirt. And I'm like, I almost don't want to. You know, like, I almost didn't want to because I didn't want to know. Um, but they're like, pull up your shirt. And I'm like, oh, fine. So I pull up my shirt, and there's a scratch mark on my back. <laughs> there is literally a scratch mark on my back. I had a full winter coat on and everything, right? I had no pain before this or anything like that. So there's a scratch on my back. And I'm like, oh my god, this this sucks, you know? So now, obviously, we're not getting out of the car. But at that point, I'm like, hey, let's go onto the bridge and turn out the lights for a second. See if anything happens. Me, still being stupid, even though I just got scratched by a ghost, I'm still like... Like, I don't know what's wrong with me. We should have turned around and went back the other way, but no. I was like, let's go on the bridge and turn out the lights, like, in the car. So, I'll leave the story there, and I'm going to keep going. Now, I got an 84 Ghastly, and what was that? 89. Okay. So, we'll evolve this one. I have so many, as you guys saw, I have so much ghastly candy, it's ridiculous. Hopefully, I haven't got one with perfect moveset yet though, so Shadow Claw Sludge Bomb would be cool to have. Suckle Pro, okay, nope. Not what I was looking for, let's go ahead and evolve the next one up. Uh, 
Ah, uh, Sucker Punch, Dark Pulse. So, both pretty much trash at that point. <laughs> pretty much trash. Uh, so, back to the story. We, you know, my little brother's like, no, don't do that, blah, blah, blah. But my Dave, who was actually driving, uh, my little brother's friend, He's like, yeah, let's go, let's do it. So we actually pull up onto the, we pull up onto the bridge, and it's pouring rain so loud at this point. It's like you, it's so loud. And then we turn off the lights, and next thing you know, we hear scraping metal. Like no joke, it, you could hear it. It was like, it was like a scratch going down the car, like someone was taking their keys across the car. Like, no joke. Me and Dave, who were sitting up in the front seat, we both look at each other, completely shocked. Like. Like, do you hear that? And he freaks out, turns on the light, and just rips it off of the freaking bridge, okay? So we, we're gone. Now, in Vermont, the roads don't actually line up like they do around here or even in a lot of places. Where I live in Sterling Heights, it's like, yeah, haze. And then you got 19 mile, 18 mile, blah. All the roads that intersect with each other, or, you know, you can kind of figure out where you're going to go. They don't do that. In Vermont, they literally just go off into dead ends and stuff. So we're freaking out, okay? <laughs> He's freaking out. He's driving, and it's the middle of night. This is before smartphones, even, right? So I don't know which way he just turned or left, right, whatever. In the, in the panic, it took us about an hour to get home, back to my house in Vermont. And uh, I'll leave the story there. We're going to keep going. This one, this next Evolve makes me super nervous because I've, I've been holding on to this IV sore for a while. It's one I've had since a Bulbasaur. And it does have perfect moveset now. I'm hoping <laughs> that it retains its moveset. So best moveset is Vine Whip, Solar Beam. Ah, no! Vine Whip, Petal Blizzard. It's still okay but it's not what i wanted i wanted solar beam but i may have to live with that Ugh, that makes me super sad okay also i've hatched three grimer <laughs> since the beginning of this and i have a 91 iv grimer so or I, i've hatched three grimer since the beginning of the event so i've gotten tons of candy and uh i can evolve two mucks right now okay let's go muck her best one is Poison Jab Gunk Shot. Let's see. And Monk, Muck, Muck can get surprisingly strong. No! Lick Dark Pulse. Trash. Man, I'm not getting lucky with these, with these movesets at all. All right, let's do the Magnemite. Jeez, I'm not getting lucky at all with the movesets. It's making me really sad, actually. Now this Magnemite I've had since Grant Park was an actual Magnemite nest, and this one actually had good IV in the 700, so it could be, you know, if it has good stuff, it may not even need barely any points to max out. Uh, Thundershot, Magnet, okay, I know for sure that's a bad move set, darn. Rats, guys. I can't get, I'm getting bad luck all the way now. I mean, this is, this is really sad for me. <laughs> I do have a couple more things to evolve, but I may do that later, so. So we finally get back to the house, okay? And the sound that we heard was literally scratches on the car. Like, it looked like someone took their keys and scratched it down the side of the car. Um, keep in mind, it was the middle of the night, pouring rain, was not enough room for anybody to be around that. You know, it's like a one lane bridge, as you guys saw, there's no way. So. Um, yeah, it may, you may listen to this story and think, I'm just psycho, you know what I mean? Like, and that's, that's fine. Um, if things didn't happen to me like this, of course I wouldn't believe in ghosts. I mean, of course. But, uh, I would like to hear from you guys. If you guys ever had any ghost-like things happen to you, um, you know, leave it down in the comments. I'd love to hear your ghost stories. Um, the very last one I'm going to do, I'm going to do this 96% Nidoran. Now, hopefully, on the two stage, it'll actually be, be good, so we'll see. I've gotten such bad luck with, with, the, with the stuff. It's just, ugh, it's bad. Making me sad, guys. Poison Jab Sludge Wave. 
it's double poison, so it it, it it works with stab, so that actually might be better than I thought. Let's see. Bite earthquake, poison jab, sludge wave, poison jab, uh, uh, poison jab, sludge wave is the fourth best move set. So, eh, that's okay. Well, anyway, guys, that is gonna do it for this edition of Pokemon Ghost Story Time. If you have a ghost story, make sure you leave it in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.